Hey guys, happy Friday. It's uh, it's Saturday now for me. I said I'd be better on time, but uh, a little late again today. You know, I'll be on a tighter schedule when I'm back on that normal routine next week. But um, hmm, it's been a good week for me. Just been hitting that fitness really hard. You know, getting the gym two times a day and then going to the other gym sometimes too. Oh. It's been uh, a lot of hard work, but I think I'm seeing uh, some results. Got some more weight loss, you know, feeling a little more toned. <laughs> so, uh, how did you guys' this week go? Did you guys have a good week at work? Have some goals that you pursued? Eat more protein? <laughs> also, I want to say I made a mistake yesterday. Um, the whole thing I said about glycemic index is nothing to do with protein. It's about carbs. I'll read you guys the little notes that I made when I realized that was me being stupid and, and uh, tired. Not stupid, tired. <laughs> I said, uh, glycemic index, digestion, carbs, sugar, you know, glycemic like glycogen or glucose. So a low glycemic index is good because it means that the uh, sugar will be released over a slow amount of time and steadily, right? Through your bloodstream, it won't cause a blood sugar spike. It'll give you energy over a long term of time. Versus high is bad because it'll spike, but then it'll trough. It'll go lower as well, right? But yeah, protein's good. Eat more protein. <clears throat> I'll read. I'll read what you. Uh, I'll read to you guys what I said. Low glycemic index, good. High, bad. Protein also good, but bad brain, big mistake. Me sorry. Yeah. So me sorry, guys. <laughs> That's what I get for making videos at one a.m. But um. Aside from that, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty beat. <laughs> I'm gonna step off of those uh, twice daily workouts come Monday. Really feeling that fatigue, but uh, having a lot of fun in that gym. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, I think I'm gonna start meal prepping twice a week. I haven't been doing that lately, and it's just you know spend. If I spend an hour or two in the kitchen, it should be for more than like three or four meals. It should be you know for a couple days worth. Yeah, and that way I can actually, you know, plan out my meals for the day a couple days in advance. That'll be awesome. Yeah, because I've just been putting in my meals as I'm eating them, but I realize if I already have, say, 1,800 or 2,000 of my 2,300 calories planned for the day, then I have freedom. It's already decided what I have to eat. I just have to go put it in the microwave and eat it. That's really simple, right? So I'm just going to start doing that. Came to that realization. That's um, a lifestyle optimization hack. <laughs> Finding ways that you can uh, make your time more efficient so you have more time to be free. Think creatively. Think about how you're going to make your steps forward. Think about what you want to create and innovate, those sorts of things. So what about you guys? Can you think of any lifestyle optimization hacks for budgeting, finance, fitness, eating healthy? Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got my finances for the next uh, month all written out here on bank sheets in front of me. I'm, I'm planning out for like 15 months in advance. Yeah, so that'll be exciting. Hopefully, I'll be able to come stateside and see you guys a couple more times. Uh, I'll let you know once, once that becomes a uh, possibility. I'll probably be in town for a week or so in August for anybody who sees this. Hit me up and uh, I'll hit you guys up too and we'll try and figure something out. But no promises because I won't be there for long. Otherwise, I'll have to see you guys in December. Yeah. So, um, it's been a good week off, but it's been long. Been really active, been getting like four to six hours of exercise in every day. So, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to go sleep and I'm going to go in the morning, take my clothes in before they get rained on. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me about something that you do that makes you less stressed out. What is something that you have ready that makes you feel better, that gives you some peace of mind? And what would you suggest I do that would help, you know? Like I say, uh, meal prep is a good, a good thing to do, or mise en place, which is like... French term for basically having everything cut and prepared before you cook. I like doing that sometimes. I did that tonight. I'm going to cook in the morning before I go work out. Maybe getting a little meal about an hour ahead. Yeah. So tell me, guys. Um, those things help me with, you know, being stressed, with being less stressed and being ready uh, 
you know, m more than the last minute, which is a good feeling for some breathing room. What do you guys do to give you yourselves some breathing room? And if you don't, what can you change so that you're not so stressed, so you're not, you know, late or at the last minute for things? It's just some stuff to think about, I guess. Yeah, well, it's good to catch up with you guys. Hopefully I'll have a little more, no, not hopefully, I will have a little more energy. I'll be a little more coherent in the next one. Anyways, hope you all had a wonderful week. I'll check in again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.